sound yeah? When some people they they gather together to when when somebody dies, they gather together and read Quran for the Quran That's the question. What sister is talking about Quran Khani, that there are some Muslims who after a person dies, they gather together and they read the Quran thinking that it will be uh, good for the person who's dead. Sister, there is no Quranic verse or there is no hadith of the Prophet which wherever, anyway it's mentioned that you should do this. If a person is alive, when he's alive you should read the Quran. Now imagine a person dies and then you read the Quran for him. There is no evidence in the Quran or the hadith. This is a bidah sister. It, it is an innovation. That is not what the Prophet has ever asked. So those people that do that is wrong. Yes, if you want to read the Quran, you can read any time. It is good. Read with understanding so that you get the guidance and you implement on the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Can we ask the next question? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear brothers and sisters, with regards to the question whether it is, is it permissible to convey the rewards towards the deceased after reciting the Quran or the surahs of the Holy Quran. Yes, it is absolutely permissible in light of the ahadith of Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and also the practices of Sahaba Kiram ridwanullahi alayhi wa are evident on this. Those people who deny this fact, they present a hadith of Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with regards to three things which will follow the janazah, they follow the mayyid. That is sadaqatul jariyah, the knowledge through which people benefit and the children who keep doing duas for the deceased. They present this hadith to say apart from this, no other deeds will be reaching the deceased. Allahu Akbar. When you consider the second part, the knowledge through which people benefit. So in the knowledge, the recitation of the Holy Quran is also included. So when that person who has been taught by the deceased, when he does good deeds, when he spreads the knowledge, and when he recites the Quran, the reward of that recitation will also be reaching the deceased. So it is very clear in light of the same hadith which is presented by the opponents. And further Allah's Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam stated, Iqra'u surah yasin ala mawtakum as recorded in Musnad Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, Abu Dawud Sharif and also Ibn Majah Sharif. And further, Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have stated to recite first few verses of Surah Al-Baqarah on the head side of the grave from Alif Lam Mim to Ula'ika ala hudam min rabbihim wa Ula'ika humul muflihun and at the feet side from Aman al-Rasul towards the end of the Surah Al-Baqarah. Further, it is recorded in Mirqat al-Mafatih by Sayyiduna Mullah Ali Qari Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Ali that this was the practice of the Ansar people of Medina that when there used to be a Janaza, they used to gather at the grave and they used to recite the Holy Quran Allahu Akbar. Further it is recorded by Sayyiduna Ali al-Murtada radiallahu tabaraka wa ta'ala anhu which is also recorded in the same Mirqat al-Mafatih by Sayyiduna Mulla Ali Qari rahmatullahi alayhi and also Imam Jalaluddin Suyuti Shafi'i radiallahu ta'ala anhu has recorded this narration in his kitab Sharh al-Sudur which says like the one who passes by the graveyard and recites Surah Al-Ikhlas 11 times, that is Qul Hu Allahu Ahad Surah 11 times, and conveys the rewards of the recitation of Surah Al-Ikhlas towards the deceased, Allah wa Ta'ala will bless all those people buried in that graveyard with the reward of 11 Surah Al-Ikhlas. Further, there are many other narrations to prove this practice. So Alhamdulillah, we the people of Ahlul Sunnah Wal Jama'ah, we follow the Quran, we follow the ahadith and we follow the practices of the pious predecessors and those who claim to be the followers of the Quran and Hadith they are simply rejecting and neglecting these narrations which proves the recitation of the Holy Quran in order to convey the rewards therefore we should not pay heed 
to those scholars who try to mislead the public by misquoting the ahadith, by misquoting the statements of the pious predecessors. May Allah wa ta'ala grant all of us the tawfiq to remain firm on the aqeed of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah and may Allah protect all of us from all those people who simply say bid'ah and innovations to each and every practice of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah proven from the Quran and the ahadith. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. حبيبي يا ممجد يا نبي سلام عليك يا رسول سلام عليك يا حبيب سلام عليك صلوات الله عليك يا نبي سلام